Um, but yeah. Now we know. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Okay. Today I'm gonna be talking about the most annoying types of friends, and I know that sounds. Really you don't bad got friends. You are calling your friends annoying. But let's be real for a second. Every single friend of yours probably does at least one thing that annoys you, but you just look past it because, well, they're your friend. Either that, or you have many friends long enough to see those traits come out, or, well, you, you don't have any friends. <laughs> you know a lot about Same that. joke. What? You act like you have friends. What are you talking about? I have friends. Yeah, and that's why you're talking to me right now. You talk to me first. <laughs> that's why I'm talking to you. Yeah, but technically I am you, so you talk to you first. I made the why same joke. I'm annoying Ryan. Without even knowing this, this video. video. Since you have no friends. I have friends. Yeah, but you only have season two. Look, if you're gonna help, can you at least wait till we get to the examples? That's sorry, not the best I, season how we already started. Is this one not and two are not great. Three is, is when it gets good. Is not annoying vlogger friend? Anyway, as I was saying until I so rudely interrupted myself, I love my friends. I'm sure you guys love that all of my yours. That's why we call them friends. Transition but there's no for such every thing as a friend that's vlog. never annoying. There's just friends anyway. that are significantly less annoying than others. And today we're going to be talking about those others. Here are the most annoying types of friends. Take a look. Guys, hold on. Guys, guys. I know what you think I'm going to say. I still have this shirt and I do. But also, I still have chapped lips talking about those others here are the most annoying types of friends take a look this is one of the most relatable common ones there is the bailer we all have that one friend who says they're always down to do stuff and then they make plans with you and at the Consistent very last second king. they tell you that they can't Thank go you. or they bail hence the bailer oh, hey greg you want to go to the uh, gym in a little bit yeah let me just get ready all right i'm good you ready oh my bad dude i, I can't go anymore i can't make it i have a doctor's thing appointment conference the judger, just like it says these in the title, the majority of these are all based on true stories. Alright, see you later, man. Wait, seriously, you're gonna wear that on a date? What's wrong with it? I mean, it's cool. I mean, it looks a little polka dotty, though. Dude, you should not be eating those. Those are so bad for you. Wait, are you liking her photo? You just met her. That's so desperate. The passive aggressive friend. This is one of the most annoying types of friends in my opinion. They never ever tell you exactly what they want to say or what they want to do. They just hint at it so that you don't look like the bad guy and they put it on you. Alright, so who's driving? I can't because <laughs> my car's in the shop. So this is my I can. I can. I, I did this drink is my a favorite. Little, so I mean like if you don't mind driving a little bit drunk, it's fine. Oh I do have shoe boxes in the back that's kind of <laughs> taking up some space, so it'd probably be really uncomfortable. I for know people, people. But like it's cool because I could just throw my shoes out in the trash. I don't need them. It's, I mean it, I don't need shoes. I can have the slippers, even though that's really not safe for my work place you know as long as you guys don't block my rearview mirror because you know i can't see at night and i can't drive oh it's day i can't see during the day very well okay fine i'll, I'll drive that's cool i can drive I no mean, it's it's yeah, fine i mean i can drive as, as long as you guys i'll don't... drive okay let's just go sure if that's what you want to do the lagger again another <clears throat> common one i mean these friends pretty much speak a different language when it comes to time you just have to translate it for example when the lagger says that they're leaving soon it means they haven't even started oh, to get ready God. when they say they're on my way that means i'm on my way to get ready but i'm still 30 i have minutes so leave. many say, friends like this this actually doesn't bother me that much away. and then when the lagger says but i can't see this is so it, many are, people i know they literally just showed up at that second the overly sensitive friend this is the friend that takes every little thing so personally that you it gets to the point where you have to be careful what you say around them and what you do around them because you don't want to offend them oh wow what tfti tfti Ray, thanks for Ray, the why are you don't oh, you have a I mean, stream i was already with derek and we just passed Damn. by this great food place oh, she so said filipino time that's cool. I thought you don't even like Greek. Why, Filipinos, Asian, rise up. So I only eat Asian food? What? Mobile high? Wow, so you're saying I'm unoriginal. I didn't say that. Now you're calling me a liar. Look, okay, it's not a big deal. We'll just drive back to the same Greek food place, eat the same exact meal, so you don't feel left out. Is that okay? No, I'm good. What? What else do you want? I just then? don't want to go. Why? I already ate. The ditcher. When a hot girl or a guy comes along, this is the friend that just chases after them. They disappear and completely seem to forget about you and your friends. chose this background Happy song. Birthday. The photographer. I guess this one isn't really annoying to a lot of you guys, but this is really annoying to me. This is the person that has to take a picture of every single little thing that you and your friends do. To them, it needs to be broadcasted or it didn't happen. This is like everyone these days. This is times have changed, dude. It wasn't always like this. The cheap friend. This is the one friend in the group that never pays for anything. <laughs> Hey, I, I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. All right. Streamers and vlogging? No, that's different, guys. Together? That's people going out and uh, this is the friend planning you never to play do games streaming. With because they always get planning. Way too that's for content. Oh, 
that's that's a scratch. I'm talking right about there. this is yeah. those are moments. These are moments with people like, who you you're no, just hanging out with. If you want a handicap? I'll give you a handicap. No, take it easy, man. It's cool. Just, it's your turn. Go. For no, no, go ahead. Just go ahead. You need the help, so I don't. We don't need to play by the real rules. We can play by your rules. We can play by your dumbass rules. It's fine. The check out this Derek. video, friend. I need a better title for that one. This is the one friend that always wants to show you a video that he or she thinks is so funny or cool or awesome, even though they're not that funny or cool or awesome. <laughs> you see that twist? So good, right? 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 The overly honest friend. And last but not least, you never want a lying friend. That's like one of the top things you don't want in a friend. But sometimes the overly honest friend can actually be a lot more annoying. For example, Sorry. you see that twist? So good, right? 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 This video sucked. Oh. Because sometimes it's better to lie to a friend than to actually hurt uh, them. Well, this video sucked. Oh. But uh, I guess there's a good ending to it, and it doesn't end awkwardly. And again, I didn't make this video to call out friends of mine, nor do I think you should send this to your annoying friends because that'll probably send result it, in guys. you know you having send less it. friends. It's actually the opposite. When I made this list, I actually realized that I do a lot of these annoying traits. I mean, when you watch this video, I'm sure you guys pinpointed which one of your friends is this and which one of your friends is that. But sometimes we forget to look at ourselves. If you haven't already, you should rewatch this video and instead which of thinking ones about are all your you, different guys? friends that these apply to, think about yourself. Because if there's something a friend does that really annoys you, chances are you do something that really annoys that friend as well. Because there's no such thing as a perfect friend, which also means that that you're not the perfect friend either. And in order to preserve that friendship, we have to learn to just accept <coughs> these annoying traits and realize that no friend is Again, really... how would you know? You have no friends. I have friends, okay? Just because I'm talking to an annoying imaginary one, it doesn't oh, mean- Oh, I'm not imaginary. What? You still don't get it, huh? Get what? You see how annoying I am? The twist. Yes, you are incredibly annoying. Which is why you named me Annoying Ryan. I didn't call you that, you called yourself that. Exactly. I called myself that. And I am you. Just a different it's color shirt. All along. <laughs> you see that twist? So good, right? 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 This video sucked. Oh. But uh, I guess there's a good ending to it. And it doesn't end awkwardly. <laughs> You know, that's really bad for you, right? Just trying to help out. Just... So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers and behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the right. And if you want to keep it staying around for the... That's basically what we did every video. Alright. Thanks for another uh, Ryan Reacts.